Hey y'all, it's Leah Jordan with LulaRoe Leah Jordan, and I just thought I would make a quick YouTube video. I wanted to make a video about styling tips using a chambray shirt, a long sleeve button up chambray shirt, and pairing that with all of your different LulaRoe pieces. So I have a few different examples that I want to show you about my favorite way to style LulaRoe using a chambray shirt. Um, but First, I just wanted to let y'all know that I should be getting my onboarding call next week and I am so beyond excited, so excited. I turned in my paperwork on March 6th and so it's been a wait, but honestly it's flown by and it's given me a lot of time to prep, prepare, get ready, all of that, uh, but now I'm ready. I'm so, so ready. So, because I'm so close to onboarding, I went ahead and changed my face group, Facebook group from secret to closed. So now you can find me on Facebook, um, Lou LuLaRoe, Leah Jordan, you just search, it'll pop up. And again, it's a closed group, and so you'll have to ask to join. I kept it closed, and I will keep it closed because I don't think you want your friends seeing your shopping habits showing up in their newsfeed. So feel free to... Um, to ask to join and I will approve that. I will have initial inventory coming, which is huge. It's a huge amount of clothes and just all the newest prints and some amazing styles. I don't know what styles yet. I have it planned, I think, but it kind of changes day by day because I love all the styles. So we'll see. Um, also find me on Periscope, LuLaRoe, Leah Jordan, and I will be doing Periscope sales a lot. That will be one of the main ways that I sell for LuLaRoe. So, um, now here we go. The Styling Woolero with the chambray shirt. And my first outfit to show you is a chambray shirt underneath an Amelia dress. Okay, so our first outfit is an Amelia with a chambray shirt underneath. And I just love how it adds, you know, the higher neckline and a little length to the sleeves. I feel like this style would be perfect for fall and winter. But if you live somewhere where it's not super hot, like right now, let me lose my balance, I have this paired with wedges. And you could totally wear it now with a springy print or summer spring colors. Um, just to add a little bit of layer and dimension to your outfit. I love this and I'm so excited for the fall and winter to do this. I live in Texas. I, I can't do a lot of layering unless it's a layer I can take off just because it's so hot. But this outfit with some tall boots or booties I think would be perfect and I just love this look. Okay, this is by far my favorite run around town, really super casual way to wear a Julia. I feel like a Julia is definitely one of those dresses that can be dressed up or dressed down. And whenever you tie a chambray shirt around the waist, it automatically dresses it down. And with this Julia right now, I'll show you, because <laughs> you can't see my feet, I'm wearing Converse. And I think that that makes it, let me make my hair down a little bit. I think that makes it even a little more casual. I mean, this is the perfect outfit to run errands in. And the um, chambray shirt kind of covers up your rear. And yeah, this is my new favorite. I only own one Julia right now, but that will not be the case for much longer because I love the Julia and I love how versatile it is. And I feel like the chambray shirt just makes it super, super cute, super fun, run around town outfit. Madison skirt. Here's the Madison skirt. I adore the skirt and the pockets. I love this skirt. And I love pairing it with a chambray shirt because you can tie it and then it just cinches in your waist even more because it's kind of a fuller skirt with the pleats. Um, it lays so nicely but it just has um, a little more fullness to it and so it pulls in that waist and I think just a super cute look to it. I have Converse on 
right now for it to be a casual run around town outfit. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I'm a homeschool mom. I really love the run around town easy outfits. But I feel like this could totally be dressed up. You could dress this up with heels or wedges and just have a great look to go to church or go out on a day night. So I'm Madison with the chambray shirt just tied with any shirt underneath any right now I have a tank top on but a classic would be a really really great LuLaRoe option to wear underneath this okay this outfit and this look is really similar to the look with the Madison but I just had to include the maxi because I love the maxi skirt so much. So I have, again, just a tank top right here, untucked. And then the shirt, the chambray shirt tied just to draw in the waist. But you can also tuck in the shirt and it's kind of just a different look with the folded over waistband and everything tied in and tucked in. So two really cute looks by just simply untucking and tucking it in. And I love it. I feel like this is another great easy run around town outfit, but another one that you can dress up. It's just so versatile and I just love that. Okay, chambray shirt, just unbuttoned and opened with an oversized classic. I sized up one size just so that it covers everything when I wear leggings. But I love adding the chambray shirt just to add another layer of dimension and just another color, especially because I've done black on black. I feel like it kind of breaks things up a little bit and um, just adds another unique look to it. And it's just another unique way that you can wear chambray and you can pair a chambray shirt with LuLaRoe. This chambray shirt I got at Old Navy. It was not expensive, super cheap and was just something that I had seen several different cute photos on Instagram um, with LuLaRoe outfits. And I feel like this just, the chambray shirt just kept popping up. And so I went and got my own. I bought mine a little oversized just so that it comes down longer in the back, but you could do oversized or fitted and either one would look great and it would just look different. It would add some different looks to um, any of your outfits. Okay, y'all, I hope that that was an informative video and that it gave you some ideas on how to pair a chambray shirt with all of your different LuLaRoe pieces. I didn't even include all of the styles, but you really, the possibilities are endless. Just get creative. And a chambray shirt is something that most of us already have in our closet, which is even better. You can just pull it out and start layering and tying and leave it unbuttoned or buttoned. Just experiment and see what works for you. But hopefully these ideas got your brain going and just gave you, I don't know, some, some inspiration. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I should be getting my onboarding call next week. So you guys give me a thumbs up on this video, please, and subscribe to my channel because I will have some very exciting videos coming up all about my onboarding call, what um, inventory I ended up choosing to order, and then just information about this journey. I just can't wait to document this journey. I feel like the moment I turned in my paperwork, the journey started, but I know the moment I get my onboarding call, things will really start to happen. So thumbs up, follow my channel, subscribe to my channel. I mean, and then Follow me on Periscope at LuLaRoe Leah Jordan and find me on Facebook, LuLaRoe Leah Jordan, and just ask um, to join my group. And there's nothing in there yet, you guys, but with that call coming next week, I will have an initial inventory before we know it with all of the new patterns and colors with in some, uh, in some amazing styles. So hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment or send me an email if you have any questions or comments. Bye.